in this video I want to show how 3 divided by 2 third is 4 and a half. So what I've done is this is there are three circles of the same radius and I've divide, divided them into thirds. So this is this is one third, this is also one third and this is also one third. So you've got three thirds, so one whole has been divided into thirds. So my question is how is 3 how do you do 3 divided by 2 thirds? So, well, you may, your teachers may have told you when you're dividing by any number, by dividing by a fraction, is same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So, if you're dividing by 2 thirds, is same as multiplying by 3 halves. Okay. So, that is 9 halves and 9 halves is 4 and 1 half. Now this is the maths, okay, there's nothing wrong here, but uh, I would like you to understand why, because at times it's difficult to understand how when you divide 3 into 2 thirds, how can you get 4 and a half, okay, that doesn't make sense at times. It, it uh, uh, didn't make sense to me first, but I had to think a lot to get to the answer. Okay, so this is, this is one pi, let's imagine, imagine this is a pi, so this has been divided into thirds. So let me, oops, so let me move this, so this is two thirds, so this is two thirds, this is, so yeah, before we answer this question, what does this mean in English? Okay, so we have shown you the working, okay, let me go back, let me bring that back, okay. Now, what does three divided by two thirds mean? If, you, if someone is asking you, can you make a sentence out of this? Okay, so what does this mean? So this means, if you want to write a sentence or a question out of this, the question would be like this. Uh, three, okay, or uh, three has, three has how many two-thirds? You can write this in many ways. The question is, three can be divided into how many or three has how many two thirds. Or in other words, when three is divided into two two thirds, it has got how many two thirds? That's the question. Three has how many two thirds? So that's what I'm trying to show you. So this is one two third. So this is the second two third. Okay. And suppose uh, let me move this and slightly and make this. This is the third two third. I hope you can see. Okay, this is one, two, three, and this is, so this is one, two, third, this is the first two third, so let me write this like this. This is the first two third, this is the second two third, this is the second two third, this is the third two third, this is the third two third. And this is the fourth two third. Does it make sense? There are four two thirds. And this is the fourth two thirds. And this is what? This is this is one third. Okay, I hope you can see this is one third. So what is one third in terms of two third? So this is half of a two thirds. This is half of a two thirds. So what have we said? How can we answer this question? How many, three has how many two thirds? So it has got one, two, three, four two thirds and half of a two thirds. So you can say four, three has four two thirds, four two thirds, I'll write like this, four two thirds plus half of a two third, half of a two third and half of a two third is one third and that's why it is four plus half. So it has got four two-thirds plus half of a two-thirds, which is four and a half two-thirds. And that's why the answer is four and a half.